So welcome to bolt hunting week two. Yes. Things are not going very well. No, they're not actually. Uh, it's been a bit of a tricky week really. Uh, we did find a couple of boats here in um, Bodrum, Bodrum uh, to look at. But unfortunately, they were both uh, out sailing for the week. One was a Lagoon 450 and the other one was a Nautitech 40. But we're going to go back and ask again about the uh, Nautitech and see whether he's Yeah, come because back. I think we, are, we might be able to see it tomorrow. Yeah, but we just thought we would uh, run over what sort of boats we're actually looking for. And behind us, uh, we really probably have our ideal boat, the one we really want, which is a Lagoon 450. Now, she, as it says, it's about 45 feet. It is one of the top selling boats from Lagoon. Lagoon have produced something in the region of 6,000 boats and their third best selling model is actually the Lagoon 450. Now the Lagoon 450 has had a few issues with some of the earlier ones at least in that the uh, bulkheads in the hull have come displaced and uh, to be fair to Lagoon they are trying to sort it out and I think I'm right in saying everybody does get to some extent a free repair but that's not putting us off is it no that's not putting no. us off because uh, if they're not repaired we will do it yeah. and even if they are repaired we're going to reinforce it anyway yeah. because we don't want to have problems uh, in uh, you know in the middle of the pacific or something that we have yeah. to fix right. and be more in a bigger trouble to find materials to do it i think there are actually great boats being 45 foot long they're actually quite wide but if we go for something larger uh, which we would love well, most people like large <laughs> the bigger the better but the problem then is that um, you get problems in getting them out of the water yes and uh, finding a dock big enough uh, and uh, you know the travel lift bay big enough to lift them out so a 45 foot boat is probably around about um, the ideal size for us it's not too big for us to handle uh, previously Ocean Fox uh, she was a, a Lagoon 400 uh, which is a 40 foot boat and uh, it was really ideal wasn't it it was a fantastic it boat it was a fantastic boat yeah. really and the size was ideal it was just a yeah. bit uh, uh, the, the space to go on the corridors and on the passages that it was a bit small yeah you if just, you have another couple on board yeah. you're gonna bump into each you other you keep meeting people don't yes, you you, yeah. you know it gets it's a little yeah. bit difficult to move by but and when you go to up to the 450 you have more uh, outside space for people to yeah. stay so you know you can be in the lounge at the front or you can be you know the back is bigger too yeah. uh, so it's less likely to bump into people that's right and also the 450 comes in two different variants you can get the uh, sports top which has a mezzanine uh, control station uh, or you can get the flybridge version now um, I've always been against the flybridge versions because you've got to go out there at night but actually I really quite fancy one now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, another boat which is of interest to us would be the 440 which is the predecessor to the uh, 450 and uh, I think they're probably very very good boats mm. I think they were solidly built well tested well grounded and uh, yeah not quite such a modern design but um, I think an ideal boat uh, probably a better boat really to be honest uh, for crossing oceans in they've got slightly slimmer hulls and uh, slightly lower uh, freeboard so they don't quite catch the wind I'd imagine as much uh, we were in the point of buying one at one point weren't we we were uh, before we bought a 400 yes. yeah. now this is all a bit of a pipe dream for us because uh, we don't really have enough uh, cash in the piggy bank no so what we're planning on doing is buying another boat first and the boat we looked at last week uh, the Lagoon 380. It doesn't. None of these boats have to be lagoons. We're quite open to leopards or uh, any, 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 any of the main, main brands. brands. Yeah, yeah, we want to stick on a main brand for resale. For resale, yeah. I think it's yeah. better. Once you start going off onto uh, slightly obscure things, it, yeah. it can get difficult to get rid of the boat yeah. at the end of the yeah. job. Yeah. But uh, so our plan is really to buy something around about 38 feet, like the Lagoon 380, which is the best-selling boat uh, ever out of the same mould and uh, do a retrofit on it and then pass it on to a new owner. Now, this might sound a bit of a sort of uh, weird way to do it, but we think we could uh, make a few quid on it and that would help our um, coppers, basically, our piggy bank uh, to buy our 450. So what we're hoping to do is to do all of that by the middle of 2023. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of aimlessly scrolling through the internet, we started to put the Lagoon 380s that are currently on the market into a spreadsheet. We then sorted by price and the results were quite interesting. The cheapest 380 was in Greece. That not paid. Four cabin, 
2008 model for €160,000. The cheapest owner's version was from 2004, VAT paid for €169,000. If you looked at the other end of the scale, in the US, the cheapest boat was a 2014 model for €296,000 and they go up to €357,000 for a 2013 build. That means the price range is around €200,000 for the Lagoon 380. We would be onto a winner if we can buy and sell at the right price. But age, layout, equipment and location will have a big part to play. Buying one. So even though we're talking about buying a 450, uh, we might well be buying a 380. A 380 or a, four, yeah. a 400. We don't want to go too big because no. it'll be too much work. No. Uh, it, you know, a 400 has so much more real estate than a 380. Yeah. It is huge in comparison with a 380. And uh, as we know, as you know, we are a bit tired of uh, yeah, hard work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the bar we did too much. Yeah. So we want to, we want something easier. Yeah, a maximum yeah. size of 40 feet. That's yeah. that's the maximum size we want to go for yeah. to flip. Otherwise, it's just too much like yeah. um, hard work. So we're out scouting. We've heard that there's some boats down in uh, uh, Mamaris. Mamaris, which is around about two or three hours drive from here. Yeah. So what we've decided decided to do is uh, take the ferry to Coles um, a beginning because of the week. Another, it's, a, it's some boats to see there as yeah. well. And then from there we're going to Rods, which is uh, some boats to see there too. Correct. And then from Rods we're going to go back to Turkey, to Marmaris. So we can uh, do all of this by ferry? Yeah, and from Marmaris, like on, on both sides, they have some more boats to see. Yeah. So we're going to try to plan everything uh, to try to show you more boats. Well, but we basically realised it's all very spread out. Very spread out because yeah. Turkey, as you know, is a very big country, so it's complicated. But uh, in we, we we wanted to rent a car, but it's uh, looking at the traffic, they, yeah. the way they're driving. We are trying not to. We're trying yeah. to use the taxis because the taxis are very cheap. Ever so cheap. Here. Very cheap. So, yeah, we are trying to use the taxis, basically. But if, if it comes to the point that we have to hire a car, we'll do it. We'll do it. And uh, Carla can drive. <laughs> Another boat which is of interest to us is the Lagoon 420. Now, these are rather an interesting boat. There was around about 180 of them made. But uh, they were uh, electric diesels, so they had a generator driving two electric engines. And I have to say, I don't think it was terribly successful. A lot of them have been re-engined with uh, your standard Yanmars or uh, Volvos. But uh, they would be quite an interesting boat. They have a funny sort of large... Design. Yeah, they, it's not like the typical um, uh, lagoon. It's got this high camber on the edge of the deck. Wow. Going, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's an unusual one, but I think they're quite bulky. And uh, we have seen a couple, didn't we, down in yes. Porto Mayo, which yeah. were in a pretty raw state and uh, could be an ideal opportunity to pick one up at a good price. Yeah. If you know of any of the boats here running Turkey or Greece, uh, send us a message. A lot of yeah. people sent us messages about boats, but they were a bit uh, too much for our uh, price range. Yeah. range. Yeah. But uh, yeah, please keep sending it. Uh, we are happy to you know, have a look and... Uh, Evaluate it.